Hey crew, Mark Hammaker here. Uh, Ron Hubbard helping me out. Helping me out? Yeah, he's helping me out. I'm helping. He's I'm a help. helping the hell out of me. Uh, <laughs> and then we got that little bit of Norwegian out of the way. Uh, here, to give you a quick little clip off of uh, we're doing something we're doing Raw 207. I'm not going to give you um, all, all the candy. Just one tiny little thing. Uh, something we we're, we're doing going through a long busting the legs revamp of the curriculum here. And we're going to talk about while we're inside the bottom scissors position, inside the guard position, uh, on the raw and all the way throughout this year, we're going to be talking about different ways to, to blast through it, to bust through it. It's going to be fistic inspiration, so lots of ground to pound, hopefully intelligent. Uh, a ground and pound, and then uh, little candy ways to pass for both uh, you know, the strikers and the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the no gi grapplers. We play with some ideas. One of the things we're gonna, the only thing I want to show you right here is if Ron hooks me up right here in his uh, good old bottom scissors or guard position, he's got me just closed guard, and I'm running down. Don't ask about knee squeeze or anything, you know, and then that's on the roll. I don't want to give all that away. But something that. Uh, uh, we want to get rid of is whenever someone breaks your breaks, breaks your posture down. But again, if we know we're rear playing the glass, that ain't going to happen, or it's going to happen seldomly. Uh, let alone with the uh, the uh, putting his guts into his chest, right? Yeah. If you go, what the hell is that? We're all 207, right? Pump me up. Uh, with these, uh, he's got a double head control, and he's pulling me in. Usually, you can see one of two ways to break out of this head control. One of which is he pulls the head down. We're going to see this driving in, and then using our power to get out of it if we can. And that wasn't super successful for me. Uh, the other way out of this, you'll see pull in and you're reaching back and trying to find which hand is on top and then do a peel to bring you up. And I still got this one to deal with. Um, what if there's a simpler way? And of course, there's always a simpler way to get out of that. One is to let your head go soft. Don't fight it. You have horrible legs at this point. At this point, if he's got me broken down, I'm rounded in the spine and I'm rounded in the cervical vertebra. I'm mean, rounded lumbar, I'm rounded cervical. And there's no sense in me trying to you know, pull out of this thing. So I'll let myself go lax on it. If my hands are already in good position, which they should be, why wouldn't they be? My hands are already in top. I'm going to form them in the fist. You can do this with the palms if you want. But I'm thinking about taking my fist while he's pulling me in. I'll explain what's going on and then we'll do it once. And I'm going to take both fists. I'm not hitting them. I'm driving them all the way back as if I wanted to touch Ron's spine. And fortunately, do this massive, massive torsal girth of mus musculature here. <laughs> I am going to get about two or three inches into this. But I'm going to drive down whenever I meet all the resistance I've got. Then I'm going to make, I'm going to change the trajectory where my fist drive forward as I'm trying to shove all of his viscera, his internal organs, up into his chest and cavity. So meaning while he's pulling into me, my head goes soft, I drive down till I have all the resistance out of it, and then I shove his guts up into the chest cavity. So Ron breaks my head down, boom, I do that. My head goes soft, and look at this, my hands never left position. So I wasn't here, I made an error, broke the plane of grass, and the glass and breaks me down. And right back where I need to be. So it kind of renders you having to worry about the head control. You know, old country, you don't even need that anymore. Just kind of keep your hands in position, Ron. Uh, keep your hands in position, make the drives, and you're good to go. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you.